Hello, my name is Jacob, and I will show you step-by-step step how to create a slider with throw physics. As you can see, the frame rate is 30 frames per second with a, for a smooth animation. I have set the size to 600 by, two, 600 by 200 pixels and the create background. They're both just a drawing object or a group of drawing objects in the stage. To start, select the slider thumb and convert it to a movie clip. Name it Slider MC. And make the reg registration point at the center. Give it an instance name of slider and align the slider to the line. Now, go to the Actions panel. Type in variable, vx, make it a number, and that equals to zero. I also make another variable, lx, for last x position, make it a number, zero. Variable, cx another number equal to zero for current x position now create a stage event listener for the mouse event of mouse down and name it s drag Close that and make another one. So just copy it, paste it. This time it's going to be a event, enter frame, and we'll call this E frame for enter frame. function start drag s drag mouse event wait oops put the e variable in front of it close it up start void starting curly brackets ending curly brackets okay then we're gonna add another event listener to the stage mouse event mouse move and just name this M move So now we will create a variable for the offset. So just to create the variable offset, making another number and equal to zero. Make another variable. Dragging, make it a boolean equal to false. This is so we can tell whether it is being dragged or not. So back in the function as drag function, set dragging to equal to true, and set offset. Oh, wait a bit, change the change the stage to slider. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Change the offset. So we're going to change the offset here to equal the mouse x minus slider dot x. Okay. I'll just copy this. Change the title to E frame. No M move, I mean. Another mouse event. Change this to just slider.x equals mouse dot x or mouse x plus offset and back in the s drag function add another event listener to the stage just copy that and it's going to be a mouse event mouse up So once the mouse is released, this um, will have to stop the mouse movement. So, end drag or e, or dr e drag. We'll just copy this to make it really easy. Change the S to an E. Change all the add event listeners to remove event listeners. Set dragon to false. And offset, we should set to zero. Now we can test our movie. After we add the eframe event listener, otherwise we get a error. So, control enter on the PC to um, start it. As you can see, we, we can drag, although it seems like there's a little air in the offset. So, let's, let's close this and switch it. I see what I did. Change the positive to a negative between mouse X and offset, and try again. Now the offset works. If the, if the offset wasn't there, it would always try when you move the mouse it would always try to go to the center of the slider so your cursor so now we're going to create a new variable object an object called bounds objects are sort of like arrays in a way so just create 50 and 550 these are going to be the boundaries so the slider can't go past them. So in our function and move, write an if statement of if the slider.x is less than bounds zero. So if slider.x is less than 50 pixels, slider.x equals bounds zero or slider.x equals 50 pixels. Copy that and just switch the less than sign to the greater than sign and change the bounds zero to bounds one for both and that should be it for that. Test the movie and make sure it stays on track. As you can see, it stays on. Thank you for watching this first part. On a later parts, later versions, I'll show you how to create add throw physics to it